All right, here with Justin Peck, winner tonight with the All-Stars at Waynesfield. Uh, Justin, it was a full moon kind of night, um, but let's talk about that first part of the race. You were with Boguski that first part, and then you finally got by him there a little after halfway, maybe. Yeah, it was, uh, you know, he was he was setting a torque pace out front, and I, I just had kind of had a feeling when it, you know, when it, when a top wore out, he was going to kind of come back to me a little bit, and uh, we kind of got the traffic, and he started moving, and I uh, just wasn't clearing guys as fast. Um, you know, as he, as he could have been to get away from me. So I was able to kind of close the gap and uh, just kind of kept moving around and searching and kind of found a bottom down here in three and four. And, you know, felt it felt like I was going really slow down there, but I could get such a launch down a down front stretch that it just kind of worked out. So, um, you know, it's pretty fun. I thought um, I thought Parker was going to be really tough to beat there. I thought he was kind of those first parts, you know, I thought he was going to be the car to beat just because he could kind of move around a little bit more than Scott could. Um, you know, and unfortunately he got upside down, so it, it uh, kind of came in the free pass in the second. Uh, but you know, I feel like I feel like we earned that one. I mean, uh, you know, we tried to finish that race three different times, and finally, I guess the third one was the charge. So it, uh, I guess it just all worked out. All right. What goes through your mind when you have those late race restarts, where you, you're very close to taking the checker, or maybe even took the checker, depending on when the caution came out? But you know, what goes through your mind when you have those late race restarts? Um, what the hell's going on? Uh, no, not. I mean, it's just, it's just. You gotta really pick you gotta stay focused because um, you know if I was dwelling on that too much, you know I, you know you're more likely to make a mistake and uh, get beat just straight head, straight up head to head. So that was kind of what I had to do is kind of keep my head down and make sure I was getting good restarts. Um, you know I knew if I could get through one and two clean um, and, and avoid a slider that I was gonna be I felt like I was gonna be okay because I could get through three and four so good. Um, you know and I knew Cole Duncan had to have been coming. I mean even though he started 18th track slick i mean that's you know cold duncan territory you know he's going to be the fastest car on the racetrack so it just uh i had to trunk my wing and just kind of move around and try to think more um you know on, on the defense rather than on the offense and okay if i run this line i know i got enough straightaway smoke i'm, I'm gonna be fine and uh like i said it just all kind of worked out for us and getting good runs off before i think was really the key mm -hmm. and then that's two wins and a second place this weekend you and the team seem to be really hitting the nice group yeah i mean i you know, I've been saying it all season. Once we finally get rolling and start pick, you know, pick off a win, it's just they're going to kind of keep falling our way, and it kind of seems like the direction it's going. Um, you know, I'm racing with confidence. I feel like I'm making good moves when I need to make them. Um, and it seems like if we miss a setup one time, we're on a racetrack. The next time, we get ten times better. So that's what it takes to win these races, man. It's just consistency and being able to qualify and being those dashes and starting up front. Um, you know, that's how you put yourself in contention to win championships and put yourself in contention to win races. So. If uh, we kind of keep going on this pace that we're going on, uh, you know, it should be a good battle towards the end of the year.